Hey friends, it's Mel and welcome to my kitchen. If you are down to the wire and you need a couple of sweet treats for Christmas, you have come to the right place. We're going to start out with some cake mix sugar cookies. This is such a good little cookie recipe and it is so simple. You just need a white or a vanilla cake. You're going to need some oil, two eggs, sour cream, and a little bit of flour. You're just going to put your cake mix in a bowl and you are not going to prepare this according to the box directions. And you just want to whisk your cake mix just to break up any lumps that might be in there. Then you're going to add in two thirds cup of flour and we're going to whisk that in. You're going to add in your two eggs. And a third a cup of oil will go in. You're going to put in two tablespoons of sour cream and then you are ready to start mixing your dough up. These are not my hands in here making this today. This is my daughter Maddie. She helps me, especially around the holidays with all these sweet treats. And she was making these for a Christmas party that she was going to actually that evening. So we whipped these up super fast and even had time to decorate them very pretty. Now we let our dough set in the refrigerator and get nice and cool for just a few minutes and then we sprayed our hands and our cookie scoop with some nonstick spray and I'm just making a little assembly line here. I'm taking the cookie scoop and pulling her out some and then she's rolling it into a ball and then you can see she is rolling it in granulated sugar over there. This makes about 30 cookies and we're just putting them in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. These things cook up so fast and you want them to look like this when they're done. You want them to look very white and if they are brown, they're going to be overdone. Now for our icing, I just took a can of regular O vanilla icing. About half of this can actually is all we used. And I put it in a bowl and I put it in the microwave and got it to this consistency right here where we could just dip the top of our cookies in there. And then we had some pretty decorative sprinkles that we put over them. And once again, we're teaming up here. Maddie is dipping and I am sprinkling. These cookies are soft and delicious. You cannot beat a cake mix cookie. You don't end up with four or five dozen worth of cookies. It's just enough for what you need and they're so fast to whip up and they're so tasty. You can do so many different things with a cake mix cookie. And next we're making fantasy fudge. This is from our church cookbook. And yes, I am pouring the sugar in here. It starts with three cups of sugar in a heavy saucepan on top of the stove. You're gonna add in two thirds a cup, which is about five ounces, which is one of the small cans of evaporated milk, and then a stick and a half of margarine, and it needs to be margarine. I have tried making this with butter. I thought it would make it better. It did not do as good. It had a grainy texture, so I have never used real butter on this. You just begin to melt it down, and you'll see it's starting to dissolve down. Then it'll begin to boil, and you see I have a candy thermometer in there. Now when it comes to about this size bowl right here, it's at 234 degrees. I set my kitchen timer, and I cook it for five minutes at 234 degrees. After that, I pull it off of the hot stove eye, and then I'm gonna add in a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips because my girls like the milk chocolate fudge. And you just stir that in until it gets all incorporated, and then you take you a seven ounce marshmallow cream and you're gonna stir that in. Once it gets stirred in just a little bit, 
you're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla. I believe this is the recipe that's on the side of the Jet Puff Marshmallow Cream container, but I will be pinning it from my church's cookbook, and I'll also have you a pin for the cookies as well. Once you have everything stirred in together, I just take my cookie sheet and I line it with some wax paper and kind of filling around here to make sure I don't start pouring it off the side of my pan, but you just pour it all out in there. And isn't that a beautiful sight? Now don't get worried if you see a little bit of the oily stuff from the vanilla in the bottom. You'll just um, stir that right out on the pan. That happens to me every year when I make this. But it just stirs right out. And then you're just going to smooth it all out into that pan. That's just a regular size cookie sheet. It's got a little bit of an edge, you know, lip to it. But I find this pan right here is just perfect for this because I like my fudge kind of thin. Normally I just let it sit out for a while before I cut it up but this night I wanted to cut it quicker so I put it in the refrigerator and um, then I forgot about it until the next day I went to bed and <laughs> so I pulled it out the next day. I've never let mine sit in the fridge uncut like this overnight but it really worked out good. I pulled it out and you can see how easily the wax paper just pulls right off of it and you can just begin to cut it up and you can see mine is nice and thin. Around the edges it gets pretty thin in that sheet pan but that's okay because you always want to take that first corner piece and taste test it and make sure it's good and it is good every time. These recipes are two that I make a lot and I've never had them fail. This fudge is so creamy. I keep it in the refrigerator because I like it a little bit cold and then I'll set it out sometimes and uh, let it get soft again and it is just so delicious. We all love it and I love to give it to people too. I hope these easy and stress-free Christmas recipes have helped you out. If you need more ideas, I'll leave you a link to a playlist at the end of this video. Friends, thank you so much for a wonderful year of friendship. And let me say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll be seeing you in a couple of weeks. As always, until I see you then, I send you love from my kitchen.